<laughs> There's something about people who respect dead war soldiers that make for a shit gig. <laughs> Sweeper keeper! <laughs> Fucking hell. Sweeper keeper! <laughs> love that when I can just ring you and say, come jump in my bed. I was like, oh, Gran, I love you, Gran. Love you, Gran. Gave her like, a cuddle. And she woke up, I don't know how many minutes later, but woke up to me spooning up. That's not part of my fucking identity, that when I get drunk, I fucking start trying to shag me my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's never been who I am. Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> yes, the boys. We are proudly brought to you today by Manscaped, the world leaders in male grooming. Tony, it is important to give your balls, that extra bit of TLC, okay? It sure is, Jamie. Your initials, TLC, Tender Love and Care Tony Carroll. <laughs> That's what they call him, mate. And part of his reason is because his bollocks smell pristine. I don't know what you're thinking, like, oh, it's me balls, it's, you know, do I do all that? You need to be grooming your balls, lads, yeah? So, with Manscaped, if you go on manscaped.com, the link's there for you. The link is there for you, and you type in Green Room as your discount code, you get 20% off and free shipping. You get all this stuff. I've brought this out especially, the ball deodorant. You need your balls to be smelling nice. Like, Our days go after you think you're getting us up. Nah, mate. It could be the perfect gift. Father's Day. Look, it's Father's Day. I hate to break it to you. Your mummy sucking cock. Do you want your mum to have smeg in her mouth? Oh, God. No. So get your dad manscaped. <laughs> Code Green Room. 20% off. See you on the other side. Give your mum a little wink. And Balls say, ahoy. <laughs> Balls ahoy. Hi, guys. Welcome to Hot Water Green Room Podcast. Just want to let you know, we have a seven-day free trial period for the Patreon episodes. There's over 50 episodes over on Patreon.com. And also, there's live shows are on there too. Absolutely, Jamie. mate. So, get over to Patreon.com slash Hot Water's Green Room. Try before you buy. Dip your toe in paradise before you have a nice swim in us. The tiers start from £3 a month, and we've got a £5 tier and a £10 tier for extra perks. We want to see you there, because that is where the magic happens. Let's get into the episode. Get to the cash machine. How long are you here for? Just an eight. Just I mean, uh, yeah, get me traded at half eleven tomorrow, so it's not an early one. Oh, I've, got, I've got a couple of beers in this tonight, I think. Oh, sounds. Why are you tomorrow? Uh, I've got a day off, but then I, I got to Newcastle after. So when Wednesday I got to Newcastle, but I'm then going to Romania straight from after that run. I'm in Newcastle for four days, yeah. and off, off to Romania for a week in Bulgaria while I'm there and then back. That other day so, Nah, so nah, that's lost us to her. Fucking, so. some mad gaffes in there. Yeah, so, uh, we're starting to look at South America because we just want to tap everywhere. We've got South America and Africa left. That's and then we've done, we've done fucking practically everywhere. Because we've done, the guy that does the gigs in Hungary, like, uh, he, he's got like a production company and he's like, I'd love to go out east with you and like record it all and just see how it goes and just make like a documentary. Yeah, we got the and I'm like, on that. We and got I'm like what the fuck is east of Hungary? Like Georgia and then what? And it's all the like fucking, is it Turkmenistan? <laughs> like, I don't think we've been kicking it there. Like, we'll probably leave that last. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. My mate does say he wants to take off every country. So it's on like 51 or something. But um, he just goes like, a, like I text him. And he was like, oh, you have to put me bets on the weekend. I'm in Moldova and that. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a VPN. He just goes to Mad Gas for the weekend. Yeah, well, it, does Marcus Ryan not, like, put on a bunch of stuff and, like, he just puts on his own little gigs in, like, in South America and that, like, you pick, yeah, find yeah. a hostel and just put some posters up and go and put a gig on. It could be the worst experience of your life, yeah, but he's, yeah. like, tick. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I'd rather do it through the channels, you know, and have a proper gig when I'm there. Oh, fuck that. I get the you're Midlands in my diary, and I'm like, for fuck's sake, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> uh, you're, 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 you're different, you different want to do exploring the world without oh, tapping yeah. goals, like, I don't feel like you want to, you want to just be doing tap-ins. Yeah. Like, I've retired. <laughs> is, yeah. is it? Oh, yeah, fuck it out. I've just got, 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 got his headphones on. Well, can talk while I was going to do it. The court was just free-balling. Oh, we'll leave that in, editor. Um, no Dylan today. Uh, we've got Chelsea on the uh, hi Chelsea on hi. Got Chelsea on the headphones in the corner there. Um, Dylan is you know we hope he gets he gets all clear soon. He's in hospital at the moment. Um, doctors are quite confident they can remove it, but um, just not quite yet. Got to let it dissolve a bit. Dissolve. Yeah, he sat on a potato. <laughs> <Dissolve> <laughs> <humans>. <laughs> <laughs> he sat on a spud. 
just, put it, just put a bit of Coca Cola on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound as spotty as an A. They're cleaning a penny. <laughs> that's nice. That. That's like proper fucking quarters conversation. Isn't yeah, it? it's 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 time, isn't it? One of this fucking hack post- podcast shit. You know, you know what I mean? It's not scripted to the image. Uh, that was you like know, a conversation, and then just turn the camera. So yeah. sorry, I didn't. Yeah. See <laughs> so you're giggling in hungry. <laughs> Tell me more. Uh, you've just been on your travels. Just come back from us. Ah, we've done a we've done a bit of a tour of ours. I've, so I've been touring with Daniel Slosson and like breaking away on my own side quests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've just been uh, I've just been like uh, I try and like because he he's got a kid now, so he's stopped touring us relentlessly. So he's putting a bit of breaks in between. Yeah. So that means I get a bit of fucking time to work on my own career for a change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's quite nice actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I've been calling at the Cleveland show. So yeah. I, are you bothered about it? <laughs> you know if you know if you name doing doing away and some of the gigs are like. Just they're not that full, aren't you? Really, aren't you bothered about that now? Which ones? So say, say if you're in like Australia or something, aye, and you're doing doing shows there. Do, 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 do they sell as much as, as he like or you know what the, his his gigs are massive out there he's just, yeah. he's bigger in Australia than he is in UK yeah, yeah, by, yeah. by miles yeah. right? so he we, we've done the Sydney Opera House and now oh, we've done this fucking, fucking, uh, it's fucking oh, it's been all, you know what's class about it we've really fucking normalised it we're chill yeah. as fuck backstage Sick we're just there you get to take it in a bit better when your heart yeah, isn't racing yeah. and you're fucking yeah, nervous, yeah, yeah. nervous about the gig and wishing it was over so you could reflect on it yeah. you get to experience it a bit more so it's like that every level though because I used to get that I forgot my first Saturday of hot water or whatever. I thought you were like, fuck out, it's my first Saturday. Yeah. And now it's like you, you're doing it all the time and stuff. You get to. Yeah, we mean, mean up, how nervous you'd be level. backstage at the London Comedy Store and then you think to yourself how easy that gig is when you walk out that door. It's yeah, the easiest yeah, gig yeah. on the planet. Everybody's fucking buzzing. Everyone it has faith in you that you're going to be class. You're booked because. The book I believes in yeah, you, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then you just say, "All I need to guarantee is execute the easiest gig of my life." But you're like, "Oh, but if I get booked back for these, I'm gonna make a thousand pound a weekend." And fuck it, yeah, it's all yeah. about you. It's all ego. You're putting your fucking self in front of it yeah, too much. Yeah. If you just make it about the punters, yeah. the nerves can go away. And you've earned the stripes on the shit gigs. Do you know what I mean? Uh, oh, mate, yeah. we've all done that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, fuck, I, I was still fucking trenches, lad. Yeah. Still trenches last <laughs> night. Fucking <laughs> Duckingfield Rugby Club, mate. Oh God. Big fucking van outside, lest we forget and all this. Oh, here we oh. go. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's something about people who respect dead war soldiers that make for a shit gig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> Honest to God, mate. It, it sounds nah, they're, they're just like they're, they're not laughing at your jokes. They're just fuming. You're not wearing a poppy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Mate. But it's like really tiny room. It, it, the gig was sound in the end. Yeah. Um, but people were coming up, and there's only one entrance into this room. And they went, oh, I'm here for this 21st. Oh. And they got the wrong day. It was on Friday. <laughs> so what did they think they were coming to see? They, they thought they were coming to a 21st. So it's just like, oh, good luck. And you were a day late. Yeah. So they thought it was someone's birthday party. Yeah, yeah. You were a day late. Did you, did you steal the gift? Absolutely. Did they come with a card with a top man voucher in and you got yourself a new blouse? <laughs> Absolutely smashed as well. Like, oh, these can't fucking stay in, man. Get them out, mate. And then just, yeah, just people chiming in and they're like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, classed all them gigs. Yeah, yeah, it, man. Gigs yeah. like, they're, they're oh, just aye. like class. They're just like, it's totally different than an old It's because every, everyone knows everyone. I yeah, like it when yeah. you turn up to a gig and you have to start doing the fucking calculations in your head about how to play it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you just yeah. kind of just, yeah. just, wheel out the same set you did last night. You're like, all right. Yeah. I've got to wait for this. I've got to keep an eye on that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've, got to, I've got to make a joke about the room. I've got yeah, to do some yeah, fucking yeah. little bit of groundwork. Keep showing your toes. Yeah, yeah, get a bit of foundation. In. Yeah, fucking music act in the middle. Forgot to plug his fucking loop pedal in, so he was faffing about with that. People were echoing. Someone, you, someone said you were shit at cheering. Folks, like, oh, come on, it was oh. a break. Uh, it's good gig though. Shit, that gigs like that are fucking fun, aren't they? Yeah, but you're chaos anyway. So like, yeah, that's fate. Like, you'll be all right with them for yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, easy, look, easy cash out the way where, I, where most comics will be like right I need to get the tools out the van for this you already come in strapped <laughs> yeah, like, I've got yeah. my weapon I've got all my fucking it's tools right oh, here it's a home banker for me mate yeah, absolute home game field away that <laughs> duck and field home lad <laughs> home yeah and my fucking crowd yeah, um, I was, uh, yeah, I was working late last night so I was a bit late today haven't I but uh, as the fans know I'm always late aren't I but 
Oh, yeah, I, uh, so I apologise for being late, but it's been great to see you. I haven't seen you for a while, have I? It's been I know, uh, like I, I have been away for a bit, like that yeah. Australia trip really fucking made it so that every time I see someone, it's to catch up. Yeah, yeah. Are you just here for one night, I have tonight? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, in, in and out. So I'm just, like I say, I'm doing my own little mini tour at the minute, and then I'm back on Daniel's next week. I've got Newcastle after this, and then and then we fuck off to Romania. Yeah, so so yeah. Like, Mischief yeah. Tour tickets still available for Manchester. Uh, there is, actually. Manchester's, 18th of June. Manchester's going a bit slow. Everything's Come selling on. well in Manchester. It's just like, Mm, I'm not sure about this cunt. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I've done to her. Is it the frog? Is it the frog? Yeah, come on. There's critical mass, so it's going to be a good gig, you know, because yeah. you, you didn't want to punt a gig if there's 10 tickets sold. No, because yeah. you didn't want the two people who listen and buy the tickets to be the 11th or 12th. <laughs> yeah. So, like, there's, there's enough people in for it to be a gig. Oh, yeah. it's fucking it, sick, man. But it's just, uh, it's just got some catching up to do to, to beat the rest of them. Go on, yeah. get a fucking ticket. So how are you, Manchester, man? You're so, after Newcastle, where are you? Where are you? Uh, so then I, I got into Romania with Daniel and then yeah. come back and do Manchester. So. Is, it, is it hard for, the, for student gigs over there because the English and stuff? Well, I've I've worked at it. I've, yeah. I've kind of figured it out. And well, there's a Jordy struggled in London for the fucking <laughs> <laughs> five years. I was just guy going. Fucking, I've had it. Because this is the thing with the accent is you, you never want to lose it. You never want it's your essence. Yeah. And yeah, you never yeah. want any of your mates to ever hear you're not having your accent just yeah. to try and get by in, in your industry. So yeah. you need to find that balance of being understood and and also still having your voice. Just so slowing things down. Enunciate. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. like. Uh, I, I, I did jokes about it, so I didn't want to, yeah, fuck you, but I had I actually had speech therapy lessons, and, uh, to, and it, it was, the you know, when you drop the T, like hotel, oh, hotel, oh, yeah. like if, if somebody learns English as a second language, and then they, they see how you say hotel, they don't even conceive that you mean hotel, yeah, yeah. they don't conceive that there's meant to be a T there, they think there's a word hotel that they haven't <laughs> heard, <laughs> so they'll just be going, what the fuck, hotel, I didn't learn this, I'm fucking a master's in English, and I don't know what a hotel is, or a tattoo. <laughs> What is it? What is how are the lads are a party? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's fucking. Uh, so, uh, so, and then the the other one was the you know the er at the end of a word like brother or mother, 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 brother. Oh, yeah. uh, I put an at the end of horror, mother. Right, and oh, they're like, yeah, yeah. they're like, you can't, they won't understand what that is if they're speaking a second language. You'll have to say the mother or whatever. And I'm like, F- I'm not fucking, I'm not saying mother. Mother. They just have to know what I'm saying. Mom. I think can I meet dad's wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to mother. <laughs> hey, mother, not mom. <laughs> mum's, mumsy. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. Uh, you were saying before you was, um, was it in Australia where he was watching footy with? America. Oh, no, no, this was uh, Man United, uh, our, our Carabao Cup final, Man United versus Newcastle, 7 o'clock in the morning in Vegas, right? Um, this, oh. is slo- this is a slot of stag do. I fucking powered through with Mark Nelson. We didn't get out of bed. Yeah. We're in the fucking uh, crowning anchor. There's a fucking cardboard cuddy to the Queen in the corner. Right? <laughs> and it's all, there's like little slot machines and that on the on the bar and everything, but the, 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 the screens are everywhere. And you've got like fucking... Americans in Newcastle strips stood at this side of the, the like the bar comes with like a catwalk and, and Americans wearing Man United strips at the other side it's like the fucking sharks and the jets and like, <laughs> yeah. come on you red devils that's <laughs> <laughs> the fucking worst banter the worst the worst banter right and, uh, Rashford you rock <laughs> it, was that, it was like that it was that's not an exaggeration to how it was oh god Tony he fucking David De Gea cleared the ball he ran out the box and cleared the ball and somebody in a Man United top pointed in my face and went sweeper keeper <laughs> fucking hell sweeper keeper oh god I was like I'm gonna fucking snap your hand <laughs> off in a minute you daft cunt <laughs> Do you know what I love though? I love like an innocent American fan sort of smashing like beer engine or something. Do you know what I mean? Oh, did you get fucking smacked? <laughs> Whenever they're going down. Yeah. Or <laughs> fucking shut up, lad. Uh, so uh, you're relegated? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Losing, losing two nil, eighty eight minutes, right? Eighty eight oh, minutes, yeah. two minutes left. You know, like needing a miracle, and I'm just fucking, just like I, I kind of blink. I'm watching the screen. I'm fucking dying inside. I'm on yeah. a come down, and somebody just pointed at us and went, "The chicken flag is coming down on you guys." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "In guns are legal in this country, and he's not dead. How the fuck can you have gun laws like oh, that yeah. and still have people alive like that?" Come oh, fucking oh, out. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, I, do, I do love him though. He's just- going to go to PKs. <laughs> Seeing that fella where he tries to start the fucking riots and that. No, no. Well, he's like, he's like got a megaphone at Seattle or something. And he's like, come on, Seattle! <laughs> fight! He's got the and fight. win! <laughs> fight and win! <laughs> the voice of an angel in the terraces. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Michael Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't fucking love American oh. fans, man. Uh, I was Vegas, haven't been. Oh, it's a. Oh, I'm. I'm. 
Imagine you, imagine me I and would, you in Vegas. I, I would go, I would I'd go be I, can't, I can't believe you haven't been. Never been, no. Ah, you're a nightclub manager. I know. I, be, I go to IB for a lot. Ah, yeah, nice. That's, that's, that's uh, kind of uh, party scene, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Vegas is a bit too fucking far. Yeah, away, that's like a fucking two hours away. It's God tier. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's yeah. sensational. We're fucking... Uh, so I was Danny's best... Sloss's best man, so yeah. I fucking uh, I organised all of it. Like, he, he funded it, right? You know, he offered us fucking 10 grand to put towards the stag, right? And I was like, I tell you what, we've been doing this podcast since 2016, and I'll, everyone's putting that podcast on Patreon now. Why don't we follow suit, put it on Patreon, I'll get your half of the money, and I'll put your half into a pot, and then it's not like a pot. I grab by you to say yeah, that you're gonna yeah. fund it. Yeah. I've actually got your money, and yeah. if I want to take you fucking on a camping trip around Mongolia, I can do what I want with <laughs> yeah. fucking money instead of fucking. Oh, please, can I apply for some cash, Dad? <laughs> yeah. Big fuck off. Uh, and I ended up raising with fucking twenty grand. I worked two years doing that. Fucking, that? So I ended up flying everyone out and putting everyone Fuck, up. And so we we hired the penthouse of the Bellagio and uh, done a roast of Daniel's loss because that's what was said to the parents that would give back with their money was oh, that yeah. would get every comedian that was there to fucking take off on each other and then take off on him and do the roast so and you've done that in the apartments uh, I've done, done that and it was fucking wild jittery off coke and that it was fucking <laughs> <laughs> every time it cuts to the audience there's fucking less and less people in the shot because they'll realise they're on camera and they fucking <laughs> get new to the camera <laughs> shot who, uh, who was there which comics went, went over uh, Mark Nelson yeah, Milo McKay it. Barry Castanola Tom Horton Elliot Steele fucking Gareth War, Ryan Cullen oh that's a good squad Wayne Sloss uh, fucking Brett Vincent was out there now, a couple of non comedians, and then a bunch, yeah, yeah. bunch of Geordie lads out now. They were fucking oh, on fire. Like, yeah, I can say, yeah. like me and Danny have been hanging around for 15 years, so fucking my mates are his mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so oh, just I a couple love of, that, man. Couple Flash, of lads out. Imagine me and you in a fucking Vegas. Lad, I don't trust the guy I'd go missing. I'd uh, go missing. I'd be in a slipper somewhere, yeah. I'd have done my bollocks in the Every, I don't know where you'd be. I'd you'd do, be on I, the slots. What, what I'd do our Patreon account on the poker. Do you, do you smoke as well or not? Yeah. I smoke cigarettes, but not, not weed. No, you didn't smoke weed because no, the, the, no. obviously all the dispensaries out there, like Planet 13 is like a fucking apple shop. They've got like drones flying around, doing displays and that, and then you've got fucking gold, gold plated fucking spliffs and all that, S- cannabis bath bombs and shit. Is it, is it legal? Eh? Get your edibles, eh? Is it legal? Eh? Oh, yeah, you yeah. can pick it up on the counter. So we're just getting <laughs> fucked up on these gummies. Like, we <laughs> didn't know where we are. We're short term memories fried. We took a bunch of, uh, we, this wasn't legal, but we'd, uh, we'd get in a hold of some mushrooms yeah. and went and watched fucking Tournament of Kings, you know, the one where they jousting on horses and fucking Fuck off. sword yeah, fighting that. and all that. No way, no. Oh, that. let's tell you this, That's right? I was, <laughs> let, let's tell you this. I was fucking, I was like perfectly high, like on, on a mushroom trip watching this, right? It's like fucking, it's really pedestrian and fucking Disneyland level fucking entertainment, right? Some of the lads were like, what the fuck have I got tickets for this for? And I'm just blissed out, just watch, <laughs> watching cunts sword fight for fun, right? Horses running around, stinks of manure and that. A bit of smoke and fucking light shows and everything. I'm having a belt of time, but then they bring all the meals out, right? And they put, everybody gets the same meal, he doesn't get a menu, they just fucking shove this tray with like a full chicken and then some like fucking potatoes and Cob, cob of sweet corn next year but I'm on mushrooms right I'm not a fucking vegan by any stretch but I look at this chicken and I see it as a live living thing that used to have a personality and a life right because I'm on mushrooms oh. and I was just like ah. and then I remembered Matt Kirshen's a vegan right and he's going to be getting one of these trays any minute like the fucking they're putting the trays doing the lane and I'm like Matt Kirshen's a vegan and he's on mushrooms and, uh, and he's about to get this fucking chicken put in front of him and he hasn't made an order but I haven't I haven't told them this diary requirements. And I look up and one of my Geordie mate, Rick, it's just got his chicken on his hand and he's dancing it in front of Matt's face like that. <laughs> and I was like, ah, well, fuck it, I better stop worrying about him then he's all right. <laughs> You're a good fucking fry. How much do you just wear his face like that? He <laughs> fucking had the chicken on his hand, man. Oh, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Oh. That is sick watching old medieval sports on mushrooms, man. That's fucking that class. That fucking it, was, that, yeah. it was fucking unbelievable. A lot of the lads didn't enjoy it's it. It's right? one with on horse with a big pole. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, fuck in, in the, yeah. In their shields are like fucking made of balsa wood. So, like, yes. as soon as it hits the shield, it explodes. Yeah, and yeah. Some oh, acrobatic oh, flip yeah, off. Yeah. And then oh, that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah fall, off, fall off the horse, and someone goes, The checkered flag is down <laughs> on you, sir. <laughs> oh, mate, we've done, we've done the actual fucking flip reverse of that, that, that situation with the sports fans, right? Because this is all Americans, families, loads of kids, right? Fucking Mark Nelson's like, he's at the dart. He's got like a big <laughs> fucking horned helmet on and that, right? And everyone's in that co- everyone's in that country. So we're Austria and Hungary's over there, and you're meant to cheer on your athlete who's uh, who's uh, your champion who's in the joust, right? And it's just a bunch of kids and fucking Brett Vincent's acting like a Millwall fan. He's like, "Come and have a go, 
Oh, if you think you're hard enough. He was like, he was shouting, you're not singing anymore. They've never been singing. They've never once been singing. Oh, you, family oh, shit, they like that. Like, he's got a pussy hole. Oh, <laughs> 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 so we <laughs> chicken on his hand, fucking hell. That's so fucking so we're fucking we're, we're come we're come out of that show, right? And uh, and I I, t- I got the mushrooms in especially for that show because I thought it'd be fun. And I come I come out the show, and I was like, oh fuck, I'm still on mushrooms. <laughs> like I, I didn't mean I, I just wanted it for the show. Where's the off switch? And I just had to spend the next seven hours in Vegas just off my tits. Like, I mean, I yeah. can think of worse places. Yeah, yeah no, it was better. Really. I went uh, I went on the New York New York um, roller coaster to try and get my blood pumping to get it through my system. So the things you think when you like tripping, oh, it's mad, God. isn't it? Oh, it's so you good. think you're dying, so you start running. Yeah, I um, I had it in Roxy Ballroom. Not as, not as good Vegas to Roxy Ballroom. Yeah. <laughs> Playing bowling. Um, and, I, and I said to uh, Dan Nightingale, I went, lads, fucking Elvis is in the toilets, you know. And sort of me and Dan Nightingale and someone else were just stood with the urine. I was like, can you see me? <laughs> just three bucks stuck there. At seven o'clock in Roxy Ballroom. Hot <laughs> Sunday toilets. You said, you said Elvis is in the toilet. Yeah, because I was having a shit guy. and Elvis came to me on the. On oh, the nice. I was like seeing dots. Uh, I was like, it's, make it. it's like a magic eye picture sort of coming. Uh, and um, it looked like Elvis to me. But I, I was thinking, So you yeah. thought other people could see it, so you're dragging them out into the yeah, toilet. But I thought everyone. You want to come to the toilet with me and see yeah. Elvis, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh? Oh, is that you what you call them? <laughs> 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 uh, so I thought. Um, I thought everyone would, because it's the first time I had mushrooms, you see. Uh, I'd never done it before, and I yeah. thought it was just going to be a shared experience. And then oh, everyone's just like, we're shit. just looking at a wall. I don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. oh, oh, that's sick, that. Have you ever done mushrooms? Yeah, 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 a few times, yeah. I, I had them in, last time I was in Ivy Fried, I was in the daytime. Just like uh, Michael Dawson knows, just so keeps you happy, you know what I mean? Keeps yeah, it is a buzz, isn't it? I, 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 I don't deal with, like, tripping, but, like, like, well, like, off weed, I it's it, like paranoia straight away or a whitey. Right. Straight away. I just feel I tired did. You weed. start yeah, talking and that, start getting paranoid. Yeah, start fucking. thinking everyone's just laughing at me. Yeah, I, it's usually right. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. I, uh, when I was about 18, 19, this, this, this girl, this girl was being this girl and she was like, she was smoke, smoked. So she passed it to me. So I thought, you know, obviously time to impress her, yeah, she's like smoking and that. And uh, she went, oh, I didn't know you smoked. Went, yeah, yeah, I smoke all the time. Of course you know. I did. Yeah, of course, you know, and then I ended up having a half a split with her. Mm-hmm. First time, one of the first times I had it. And uh, we were waiting for the bus, and I remember just, so it was about, it was about nine, ten in the morning. I think we'd, I think we'd just be in a meeting somewhere, and we had to go somewhere else, you know, working <laughs> there. And um, I stand at the bus stop, and it just hit me, and I was like, fuck. Everyone in the bus stop who's waiting, it was busy bus stops in town. Everyone's laughing at me and all looking at me, you know what I mean? But I was just looking around. We get on the bus, I'm sitting there, and, and I, honestly, I just thought, it was e- just I, thought now. I thought everyone was in on it. Like you know a flash mob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, that would flatter hey. me. Uh, if yeah. every, if half a fucking well, Manchester I'll live away. Yeah, with just, just yeah, all just watching me smoking the spliff. Uh, and then all and then all just all at the same time just go, Oh, look at you, you're paranoid. <laughs> 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 but yeah, mate, it was uh, that oh, was one man. of the thingies I've I've beat. Imagine I've had, the lengths they would have had to go and eat engineer that. We're gonna get Tony Carroll there. I'm gonna put a port, am I? I've I've it like white he's on pedlos and like Amsterdam and just like like, so long stories about it. Uh, like, yeah. It's just, it's just something that doesn't agree with that. Yeah, I, I think that's the thing, isn't <coughs> it? Like, if something does that here, then it's just right again. That's not for me. Yeah, yeah, that's like, it, you, yeah. you know, some people just fucking absolutely f- like fuck up their life on booze, and then they'll go and get drunk again next week. And you know, like, it's not for you. No yeah. offense, mate. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm too, I'm too far in. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you drink much anymore yourself? Yeah, I drink oh. all the time. Oh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just. Is that one of us then? I, I, I feel like you know what? I've never. I've never gotten to a point where it's a problem. I feel like I've I've drank and took more drugs than a lot of people who have drink and drug problems, but yeah. I've never made but it a never, problem yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, do you know what, I, I was speaking to him, I mean, it's about that last week. I, I think um, if so, some people just can't like deal with the, as you say, you know, the, 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 the drink of the drugs, and then they think it's a problem. But Aye. I think a lot of people can't. I think a lot of people can't manage it. Yeah, and then if it's if as long as it's not. You know, take it over you. Yeah, I, I, I know it's a problem, but it's a fucking buzz. So. Yeah, it's a great problem uh, to have. Because I drink and black out a lot. Uh, so I have one sip of a pint and wake up in my bed. 
Well, I'm always in my bed, so uh, it's sound. And it's you like, get absolute, like, fucking memory blank, don't you? Oh, I get fucked. Like, yeah. gone. I get gone, But mate. do you really, like, do you trust yourself that, like, whoever's at the wheel, the other Jamie? Yeah. When the other Jamie's in command, well, you, uh, d- you didn't worry that he's just going to, like, like, glass a pregnant lass or something like that? Uh, no, I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm not I'm <laughs> like, you're not going to do something, like, fuck, you're not going to go and fall John Jones. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm like a nice drunk, aren't you? I'm more, I'm more worried that I'll embarrass that. I used to text other acts saying, hey, you're underrated, you, you know. <laughs> that's, such a, that's such a funny, that's such a funny thing to say to somebody. You're good, but you're unsuccessful. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no one rates you, but I do. <laughs> For my opinions. Yeah, I just send like overly nice messages and stuff, do you know what I mean? Uh, like pissed and everyone's my brother and all that. Like I'm on ecstasy, sort of, uh, I guess. Well, I'm just fucking falling in love and you know, we're brothers for life yeah, and something yeah, yeah. a pint, do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, 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 I never that. normally wake up with a fear like I think I I I, I think I like I trust myself when yeah. I get absolutely fucking blazed that I'm not gonna fuck shit up. I think when I first started I did you know, you'd say something or you know, and you, next day you go, Oh fucking hell. But now uh, I'm just like, you know, I don't care. You know, I just <laughs> I just remember a story, right? Like I was I was out in uh, I was on holiday with my mates, right? And uh, one of my mates I'd left my phone out, I'd went to bed and I'd left my phone out, right? And one of my mates uh, was just showing the rest of my pals that you can unlock a mate's phone and send a text with Siri. Do you know how you can do that? Fuck off. Right, so he, he, he said, uh, hey, oh, he, hey, he, text hey mom. Siri, text mum, right? And he said, uh, text mum, uh, I miss your ass." Right, and he texts my mother from my phone saying, I miss your ass, right? <laughs> and I'm in bed, not even like I'm in bed, right? I'm just in bed. And I wake up the next morning, find my phone, and I've got a text off my dad just saying, I take it you were drunk last night. And I'm like, that's not what I'm like when I'm drunk. <laughs> that's not part of my fucking identity, that when I get drunk, I fucking start trying to shag me mouth <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> that's never been who I am. It's <laughs> funny that your dad texts you, not your mum. I had you that. You dad. Shit in the fucking hey. grass. <laughs> grass and <laughs> <bitch>. fucking grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all. Who's ready, Dad? I'm away with him again. <laughs> I, uh, I'm just fucking his walk high again. He's pissed. I, I've, I've not got me out to turn him down. <laughs> 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 oh, mate, that's ruthless. Really it's it's just subtle enough, isn't it? Uh, it's not too tipping the other way, is uh, it? Yeah. But I never, I never really. I, I woke up after night the other night at my mate's when it's lost his when where I'd actually fucking physically threatened to batter my mate and I fucking kicked him with the hoose with my fucking hands right. And I woke up and I didn't even have the fear. I was like, ah, that daft cunt. He should have had his drink last night. Oh come on, so actually that's you last night. Uh, oh yeah, he's a prick. I fucking absolutely yeah, fuck deserved him, that. Yeah, fuck him. There was no fear. There was like the dawning realization. Then there was just like, ah, yeah, he needs to have a word with himself this morning. Like he's oh. <laughs> nearly right in the wood chipper. Yeah, I made. I accidentally made someone sleep in a corridor on a boat once. Because I said jokingly, like, if you how stop- do you have that power? <laughs> <laughs> I said, like, we was doing a gig on a boat and we were sharing a cabin. I came in fucked. I went, like, if you don't stop snoring, you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to sleep on the corridor. And he took it seriously. I slept in a corridor and then came back in for his Kindle. Like a Jedi that. mind oh. trick, lad. You're gonna have to sleep on the corridor. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, with with, with, with drinking and stuff going out, you go through stages. I think, don't you? Because have you ever have you ever got up and thought somewhere else was the toilet? Oh, I, 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 I've left the hotel room thinking that I was walking into the bathroom and it's shut behind us. And I've been <laughs> in the fucking corridor <laughs> and my <we> boxers. <laughs> Because I thought I was walking into the toilet, and I've done That's that. And, uh, and I fucking couldn't get back in, and I, I went and pissed in the fucking stairwell. Yeah, I was uh, well, I was in a caravan once when I was sixteen. I think it was. I was obviously bladdered the night before, and uh, I remember waking up, and uh, you know the caravan, the caravan they have single beds, and then you know the staff of caravans they have a single bed and a little table bedside table in the middle, and then another single bed, and I put my phone on there, and then I must have got up and thought where the, the bedside table is in the middle of the beds. That was the toilet. I was oh. pissed all over me the phone. Is this on your phone? Yeah, then I must have went back to see. <laughs> Unlock, was... Unlocked your screen, text your mother, <laughs> and it's for us. <laughs> <laughs> I miss your ass. I, uh, I, 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 I thought you pissed in the wrong place last night there, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up the next day, and my phone was just fucked. Uh, yeah. I was pissed all over my phone. You gotta oh. put, you gotta put but that in, was the only time. You've got to put in yellow rice when you piss on it. <laughs> <laughs> yellow rice. I, uh, I, I got pissed. That's uh, I got pissed. <laughs> um, and tried to get in bed with my gran. <laughs> We've all done that, man, Jamie. <laughs> We've all done that. Tried to get in bed with your gran when I had a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, man. I'm surprised I wasn't there. Jamie, get it when you cock block. <laughs> 
<laughs> Miss your ass, Grant. Miss your ass. Oh, Our ass is busy. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the mouth. You oh. got in your grand's bed? Yeah, I was just fucking steaming. And um, I, I was just disorientated at my grand's thinking it was my house. Steaming means like, two things, by the way. What? What does it mean? <laughs> Does it look just? Oh, I've right. heard this now because I'm not steaming. In Liverpool, me. steaming means you want to fuck someone. Ah, uh, yes. I, <laughs> so when you just went, I was fucking <laughs> steaming. Yes. I know what steaming means, what you meant. Uh, but our Liverpool listeners are going to be like, you fucking sicko. <laughs> You're like, I'm fucking steaming, aren't I? So I've got to be grand's bed. So there's a bit of both. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, that is what I meant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was disorientated because I, I was just, my body must have thought I'm back at home. So I must have been trying to find my mum's bed. <laughs> 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 but I went in, I went in thinking it was the toilet, it was my grand's bedroom. I was like, oh, grand, I love you, grand, love you, grand. I gave her like, a cuddle. And then I just drifted off. And she woke up, I don't know how many minutes later, but woke up to me spooning her. <laughs> so she, but she was pissed as well. So her <laughs> initial thought went, fucking hell, I've like shagged him. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking leaving and all. Can I have that message? I don't, <laughs> I don't think we'll ever know, know the true story behind this. I know. don't think we will I, th- I, th- I think you, you two have both got your story straight <laughs> so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got a text off his granddad. Yeah. This needs to stop, Jamie. <laughs> Put the Ouija board away, Gran. I'm not getting bollocks uh, off him again. I did it. I, I did go and. Uh, <laughs> I nearly rolled over your joke. <laughs> um, I did uh, when I was uh, a couple of years back when I stayed in Australia. I was in a um, like an Airbnb with a couple of our comics, and I walked into Dan Willis's room instead of mine when I was pissed and tried to claim it was bed. Do you know Dan Willis? He said, mm, uh, no, no, Geordie, Co- Geordie comic without a Geordie accent, but he lives out in Australia. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. I, yeah. yeah he, does, he, does he run all the gigs? He runs a bunch of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, he just started fucking up, kicking us and panicking. He's like, fucking, fucking uh, Benson Henderson off his back. <laughs> 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 I was like, fucking, I didn't know where I was. I was as confused as he was. I, didn't, I thought I was getting into my own bed. Oh. Now I'm looking to do the man that's trying to kick us. <laughs> I yeah. think we all need to stop singing. Don't we? Uh, <laughs> I'm having a pint after. Ah, yeah. I've gone then, haven't I? Should we just have a new? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you working tonight? Yeah, back in tonight, yeah. Yeah, back in tonight. And then we record tomorrow, aren't we? So. Yeah, double time, but we're late. Later. What time? I don't know. Oh, f- listen, I'll be up. Don't yeah, yeah. I'll be up. Just do some pad that, then. I'll be up, I'll be yeah, up. Yeah, Dylan must have the potato up his ass, so. Yeah. We've got, um, we've got Ronnie Cray again. Uh, oh, I'll be on fucking hell. Yeah. He texted me before, I was running late. Because uh, one of the Cray brothers hates lateness. Like, you end up in the fucking paper. This, this is what we're calling the Blairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. benevolent Crays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, he said, Oh, but you go shop for me because if I come in with loads of streets, Ben, you will shout at me. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been the shop for? So I had to go for it. I messaged him this morning when I was, I, I say, I've told you off camera, I was there, uh, only, only had like an hour sleeping, and I was like, lad, I can't be arsed, you know, fucked. He said, I said, my fucking stomach's killing me. He went, lad, fucking, never mind your stomach, mate, you'll have no kneecaps if you don't turn up. Vince is doing it today. <laughs> He's just quickly got you to bed. Yeah, fuck. fuck. Yeah. fuck. Oh, <laughs> I love one. that he's got the fear in his hand. Like, oh, yeah, it's fucking hard. He's not even thought to be upset now, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Run, run this city. It's funny, like, it's just like, poke the snake, poke the snake. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. That sorry about cool. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I was at a, I was at my London show last night, and the last I went to school with came to the show. We were reminiscing about when we went to school. We used to go into the school nurse when we were twelve years old and pretend that she was pregnant to me. And it, have you seen? Because I, re- I used to do a routine. Have you seen what I looked like when I was that age? You know, when I had the man of the house picture that I held up. Did you ever see that picture of me with the big glasses yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wore big like NHS frame glasses, oh. like ginger hair, like fucking gelled forward. Like th- this cunt was getting nobody pregnant. Yeah, like, yeah, not yeah. just not just because like physically incapable of fucking stealing the deal, but like probably like infertile at that point. Like not even <laughs> not even started puberty yet. <laughs> would fucking go in and would uh, would just tell the nurse that that fucking I'd got her pregnant just to like see what response we got. Oh, the school nurse? Uh, huh? The, the school, school nurse, I <laughs> Going into the school nurse. There, Tracy was telling me last night. It's like, you know, when it's one of them vague memories that used to do. She goes, we used to do it just to get in out the cold because everyone would be fucking playing out inside and it was fucking frosty. And then we'd just go in and just see how long we'd keep the school nurse talking because we'd get to stay inside. What was her reaction? Um, 
Huh? What was the reaction? Well, we're trying to fucking piece it together because we're like, why was social services not called? <laughs> now, well, now we did this act, right? But we just don't know how there wasn't any repercussions from it. So I reckon the nurse must have just been having a laugh as well, like nan that what yeah, we're she saying. Must have these she must have been like yeah. in on the joke as well, these, yeah. and just humouring us, just doing this like bit of banter. Like it oh, must have been so absolutely obvious. Absolutely terrible at a job because uh, two twelve year olds were fucking uh, trying to make a baby. But do you want to know what the best idea is about this whole thing? Is uh, she ended up having to leave school when she was fifteen because she got pregnant? <laughs> to Did you? <laughs> and then, 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 then I, was, I was still a virgin. Then. Oh, <laughs> what a story that would have been! Wrapped We've up been there. trying for three years. <laughs> it's, sure right. it's, it's, it's funny because our, our eldest, our eldest kid, gave us a lift between the double up once near London. <laughs> like he's fucking, he's a grown ass man now. Fucking hell! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's proper like soap opera stuff, isn't it? Uh, pregnant yeah. at 12 and that. Nice. Nice. that she's still with the same guy like her family's like fucking she's, yeah, yeah, she's done well she's awesome really like same guy, yeah. she's still with the same guy got two kids like yeah, the, the youngest just turned 16 and uh, that, that fucking life's meant yeah, like, there's, yeah. Pe- there's people from our school a similar situation like they get all stigma attached to them like all yeah. teen woman that then yeah. they end up fucking that's the half the fucking mums on the estate anyway doesn't always be hot like that though, <laughs> nah, 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 this, these, are, yeah. these are exceptions like no he's been hot yeah told his mum's still out for cigs <laughs> she's not still for cigs she yeah. went out for milk like 20 years ago and has come back she hasn't come back yet no are you saying about what? No, you saying about all? no no no, no have no. you done how, like can we talk about it yeah, yeah of course yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you tried tracking that doing uh, no no enough's enough innit if you, don't, if, you, if, you don't, if you don't want to love this, you only get one chance to love this. Uh, that's, you know what I mean? that's true. Like, but a second chance. But maybe, maybe she regrets it, but like doesn't have really not to like come back and see you, like because she knows how much she'd hate her for it. Because like, um, could there be could there be a redemption in it? What if she's got another family? Film it on Patreon. I get her on. We'll do. Oh, a PC, what yeah. a guess that would be. Find Tony's mum. If your mum, I've got a mystery guest for you. It's your mum. Imagine that. Well, you have to go and find her. Yeah, yeah. And then I like, question the same as my mum. <laughs> I just keep getting like let, that. Just keep getting let down every no, week. Like that, <laughs> like that girl who said she was Madeline McCann. Yeah. Yeah, I'd just have people. I'm yeah, Tony's yeah. man. Say so fucking sport. I guess that just yeah, I'm Madeline I'll, McCann. I'll say I'll give you a grand. <laughs> uh, we'll give you a, a thousand pound prize if you're yeah. Tony Cavill's real man, and we'll interview him and try and find out who it is. But no, because I'll just get fucking let down every week. I know, but we'll get <laughs> signed back all memories. Yeah, but we'll get sign ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not thinking of subscriptions here. Actually, yeah, yeah fucking hell. If you had a pay, well, go on then, let's do it. <laughs> you've got, you've got so, what, like, how old were you when she worked in? I think, she was about, I think I was about five, about five, five, six. So, you haven't got any, like, real core memories of her, no? Um, yeah, I've got, you still got your You wouldn't recognise her, would you recognise her? No, I don't think so, no, no, no. I'm 31 now, so it's 25. Yeah, the last one of her is slamming the door saying I'm getting six. Yeah, me just having just drive cereal. Right. Cheer- Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> so only did some crowd work three weeks ago where someone went to the cereal factory and he went, oh, Cheerios. And he, <laughs> <laughs> Is that your banner? Yeah. And now we just say Cheerios at every episode. Like it's tired of your ass, like, and I just hear them laughing. <laughs> It was dead sat. No, it wasn't. It wasn't sat. No, no. I was like questioning. But, but you know when you, when you've told someone that's not landed and the comics are buzzing. Yeah, uh, oh, I yeah, just heard them yeah, go. Yeah. I was like, oh, you bastard! <laughs> oh man, man. <laughs> fucking love all that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So she just uh, she just went and done her whole thing, and my dad, yeah. my dad was away. Uh, he was in jail. My dad went to prison, and she she. Just so who was in the house way then? Was it just he? Just which? It, were, were you just in the house on your own? No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. no. It was with my sister as well. Right. She's got, got an older sister as well. So she looked after you? Yeah, not, 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 not much older. I feel like I haven't given you therapy yet, Tony. No, it's fine. It's, 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 it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't, it's okay to talk about. But um, yeah, she, so yeah, so it was just one of them. And then, uh, and then I went to live with me granddad, which is the best thing that could have happened. And then yeah. I had a good time with a boss life. We had granddad. But you just be granddad. Oh, your granddad. I was going to say, fucking Jamie wasn't trying to climb into bed with him coming in drunk, was he? <laughs> 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 I'm disorientated, sorry. Yeah, he passed away last year, unfortunately, but oh, I, had shit, a, I had a great life with him. Yeah. And then I'm just thinking, you know, when it gets too bit too long, it's been, been ah, long yeah. now, you know what I mean? So ah, yeah, the moment's gone, like, what are you even fucking yeah, saying at that point? Like, fuck that, you know what I mean? Yeah. As I say, mate, women always leave me. Yeah, do they? They always leave me. Me when they think everyone's starting to be when you're high. Especially when time runs out. And them fun and prostitutes. <laughs> yeah. Get your wallet back with the game. Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, when'd you go to B for? Oh, four weeks. Well, on holiday nice. soon. Yeah. I'm going to Naples tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. 
Yeah, yours is a little romantic thing now, isn't it? Are you going to do a little bit of fucking uh, agent work trying to get that fucking Georgian left winger out of Man United? Like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. He's classy, isn't he? My, yeah. my mate, um, the professional plus one, absolute buffoon. Right. He got the, the person said goes to countries all the time. He went right. to Georgia years ago and watched like a fucking Georgian Premier League game and found him. And and did he? And he, he, he he's fucking tapped in the head. He was emailing Middlesbrough right. scouting team to say he comes because he supports Borough. Uh, he's like, like you need he's, to fu- he's fucked like this lad he's fucked mate. he's finished <laughs> he's finished <laughs> he's but he's in the like knowledge of football oh, he's, he's very smart very, know, isn't he? very intelligent very intelligent but like he's just fucked, fucked. Um, uh, he's fucking so he's on, he's that's, on, that's an interesting human being that he's already got, he's yeah. already been to like 51 countries yeah, yeah. He's already, he's so he's, like, oh, he's obsessed with uh, Kavicha so he used to email like the Middlesbrough scouts to sign him and that and um he makes like music videos and stuff, and he, he keeps emailing the Georgian FA to try and get the dressing room. To, to try and what? Get into get, the dressing room? Get the dressing room to film it, because he's got a song named after him. He's got a song named after Kavicha. Oh, yeah, got you, got you. Um, So he wants to get him in the music video and that, so he just keeps on pestering the Georgian press office. <laughs> to try and get Kavicha. It's like when you find a band, yeah, before they go mainstream. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. a minute with the... With the uh, well, I think the, the ship's sealed for him now, like, as everybody's onto that guy. Yeah, everyone tries yeah, to everyone's play Everyone's now basically class, isn't he? Yeah. But, yeah, he's got proof and like... Back and thank day. you for pronouncing his name fucking Kavicha, like, because I, I would, like... Yeah, Kavicha, Kavacha, yeah. 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 Yeah, I've had to say that a few times. Yeah, fucking player. Do you it? watch? Do you watch? Do you like to fight as well? You have seen her. You know what? I haven't watched it in a while. Have you? I, I used to go now out of Vegas to watch the fights. Like yeah, I, I, the, the first fight I went to was uh, BJ Penn versus Jeremy Stevenson at oh, uh, Newcastle yeah. UFC eighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UFC eighty. Where he licked the blood off his gloves. Lost that one. Lost that one. The Doom was on that card as well. Like yeah. that was a fucking good. Licked card blood off his hands. Oh, oh, he was blood a murderer. Blood. Fucking in his day, BJ Penn. Yeah. Like, I'm glad I got to see him in his prime. Like, but what what happened is you know when. Because it used to be that like there was like a six week build up between every fight card, and I'd really look forward to it, and I'd really like like watch back catalogs of fighters before the card came up, just so, so you get invested in them. Get invested yeah, yeah, in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It also like helps you with your bet a little bit if you're putting a bit yeah, of bet yeah. on. You'd go in and you watch the fights and the styles and the matchups, and I just feel like it just come out as too much, too much, too much, like too many it's fights. Like one yeah. that like I couldn't have that encyclopedic knowledge of it anymore, yeah. with, and, and invest the same amount of time that I've had in it, and uh, and I just really fucking lost interest. Yeah, it's all um, about making the next superstar now or the next Conor McGregor. Yeah, uh-huh. it, 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 he fucked it. A bit, didn't he? Yeah, he really flew it up. Hey, yeah, he brought a lot of class. Though, really, though. It he was class. class. I really yeah. enjoyed well, that moment in time, that. and I really enjoyed the Ronda Rousey fucking. Yeah, Ronda uh, Rousey. Yeah, that was boss. She's just a band, everyone. Yeah, because I, I went out and watched her um, beat Misha Tate, yeah. and uh, that was the fight where Anderson Silva snapped his leg against Chris Weidman. Yeah, yeah. So I was, that was that. I was there. It was like fucking horrible, man. That was like it happened. Nobody quite knew what happened. It was just an awkward. That stoppage. was one of the first ones in a while. That wasn't it when Silva done us. Uh huh. Yeah, that's then, that was a shock, wasn't it? Uh, and and every, it everyone was just saying, "What the fuck happened?" And then it come up on the big screen. Oh. I heard it, me, and when I was watching it, me house, I heard, oh, I heard it. Oh, and it was oh, like, I can't and you, stand in Mate, you go, Ugh. I can't stand in <laughs> The whole place went quiet. You could hear people yeah. weeping. The only yeah. sound was the sound of people sobbing, and we just yeah. like went out of there. And we're like, yeah, that's people who've had a bet on him. I don't think many people were betting against him back then. Like, yeah, that was oh, yeah, good yeah, then. Yeah, he was, was he? Um, why would the Wyman do this as well, did he? Which one? Chris Wyman do this Yeah, yeah, yeah. That come back around. Was Aspinall as well? Aspinall done, yeah. He's, he's from yeah. over here, isn't he? Is it from Wigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then the, Liverpool. the last live one we went to was UFC 200, and that one was so underwhelming, because I think it was meant to be Jones Cormier, and it ended up being yeah. Cormier versus um, Brock Lesnar? No, Anderson Silva? Anderson Silva, yeah. Right, Mark Hunt, Brock Lesnar, and uh, Daniel Cormier versus Anderson Silva, yeah. and both of them just ground the fight out. Yeah, it was both, just both those fights were and just it ground out. it was meant to be a big... It was meant yeah. to be massive. Yeah. Couple, of, I think a couple of good fights on the undercard, Cain Velasquez or something. I think I can't, yeah, yeah. I can't mind. Uh, there was a couple of that we we'll watched where we're like, "Oh, this is going to be good. This we're starting yeah. to get the buzz for it." And then just the longer just the card down. went on, the more it was a letdown. Don't like, watch yeah. the boxing. Nah, never have. No, no. never really. No, it's it's kind of it's losing its popularity <sighs> a bit just because like the YouTube, a lot of the YouTube stuff is just making the the actual sport a bit of a far sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah, I've been a fan of boxing before, obviously MMA, and I've, I've gradually went from to MMA now because because what's happened with the boxing and yeah. the big fights aren't happening, but I've noticed the past few months, boxing has started to panic yeah, a bit, so oh, they're bad too, putting yeah, some yeah. fights together, you know, yeah. Yeah. Team Fort, 
watched uh, last year and then Isaiah Lomachenko for a thingy so yeah, what's yeah. fucking up the boxing then is it the YouTube stars the like, I, don't know if I, I don't know yeah, exactly these, you know these YouTube um, the Paul Paul yeah. Yeah. content creators whatever you call them we're content creators <laughs> 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 hey, box fuck your dukes up sir I'm just saying that I actually fucking organised the boxing event with oh you did of course oh yeah fucking hell they had to go to the comedian boxing yeah that was class, just to explain that, because for the listeners, I, no, that was 2015. 20, 2016. We spoke about it a few episodes ago, someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just, um, so when we were, uh, me and my brother, I run these uh, gigs in the North East, Cal Punch Drunk, you know, the old working men's clubs, yeah, yeah, yeah. concert halls. We put them on there, we do a lot of fundraising, we get people to bring food in for the food banks, and we yeah, just yeah. make it like a community home Boss. as well as a gig. And uh, somebody brought to attention about this young lad, Keaton Musgrove, and uh, and he, he needed life-saving treatment in America because it wasn't available on the NHS. Like they were like they they were, they'd give the treatment to this kid that they could give the give, and it wasn't it wasn't catching on. And they were like say goodbye to your son, but they knew about this proton therapy treatment that was like half a million pound that was available only in America and pioneering treatment. And you know when like you hear that fee like half a million, it's just it's you might as well just go and it's right. not available for you. Yeah, but like yeah. me brother, just like I've never known anybody like take something into their fucking like a bit in the teeth like me brother did. He was like, we've got to at least try. We've got to give it a gun. And uh, he, his, it was his creation, the boxing. So I just got as many comedians as I could agree to punch each other in the face and got them in. And he just done all the promotion side of it and all that and all the fucking, like selling sponsors and everything, you know, like, uh, in the arena so yeah, even yeah, though yeah. the ticket sales were one thing there was loads of other revenue streams as well yeah. and we ended up like at the was end it live streamed as well is that right yeah oh, but it was, on, it was on like what do you call it like it was it was before like yeah like, it was one of the first ones wasn't yeah it? one of them like yeah. apps it was apps, like a yeah, shit yeah. app yeah, that yeah, live yeah. stream but we recorded it it's available to watch and all that like I can I can send you the link so that you can put yeah, it on yeah, for we'll them if they want to watch the boxing Um and I've actually wrote a show about it if they want to hear like the fucking full story like over an hour with some comedy in it that's on my website for free yeah boss um, kaihumphreys.com uh, so that's that, smooth plug that. so yeah. when the <laughs> when yeah. the when the boxing finished right we raised the 80,000 on the night with the boxing but because like that had kind of set a lo- load of other fundraising going as well there was 400,000 pound raised by oh, by the end of the boxing oh, fight but there was still 100,000 pound left to raise yeah. and the cunt was still like every day that guy's by, I'm kind of the cunt. Yeah. <laughs> the lovely young man. <laughs> so funny. It's so funny how you just use the word cunt as such a term of endearment. Yeah, and yeah, then you yeah. don't realise that Look. not everybody in the world does. No. Not everybody in the world does. And yeah. then anybody listening in just can't. Did he just call that little cunt off your shit? Oh, cunt. Have, have you thought about doing it again? Because so, so many months on it. No, I didn't. We that? didn't want to do it because it was so successful, right? Yeah. And, and because of what it was, and I was like, we did it because it was a time-sensitive charity, right, and we yeah. did it because we were like, right, we need to do something fast, and we need to do something big, yeah, and yeah. we did it big and fast. And anything like after that would be crowbarred in. We'd be looking for a charity, which I'm sure I would find a way of one, and then we'd be trying to recreate what we had, yeah. but wouldn't capture it. Yeah. It was just and that magic moment, wasn't it? And it was. It was just at that time, and, 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 you know what I mean? Like yeah. that you just w- want to do that. Uh, it, was it was very madness. successful, obviously. You know, yeah. But what, what we did for the uh, extra 100,000, we got 100 people to set up a Just Given page for a £1,000 each and call it the 100 Heroes. And everybody went out, like, and there was loads of comedians did it, and loads of people from Blythe did it. Such and they each idea, fucking man. raised a £1,000 between 100 people oh, and got it across that. the lane. The and uh, kids, 12 now. Fuck. It's got long hair. Go on, lad. Oh, so it's meant. It's a good. It's a, it's a good feeling when I see when I see pictures of him come up on his mother's Facebook, like on his birthday and stuff. And yeah. uh, I just just get like this fucking swelling feeling of pride in that. Like uh, like that. Like me, me bro. I've just done something really fucking good. Oh, in you the world. saved a life. Yeah, yeah, like so. I could probably just go and run, like just stay out now, just. Like yeah, if you got if you got if you got re- tapped out tomorrow, uh, you just be, you're I, 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 I've yeah. probably got like so much goodwill in the bank that I can just go and run doing atrocities. That's how you got to build your life, isn't it? Uh, yeah. 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 Just, yeah. Be, just be dead good. Uh, we right? had the yeah. good, yeah. and then just go nuts. Yeah, as long as you don't get into the overdraft of doing too many bad things. Yeah. Uh, you Keep off. a float. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then, I'll, then I'll do another boxing. Fine, fine, we'll do another one. Fine, we'll do another one. But if I get cancer, mate, I'm straight in that chemo ward first. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking yeah. messing. I'm not queuing for no cunt, lad. Knock it out of the kid's arm. I'll save one of you already. That, Fuck off. That was one of my favourite... <laughs> One of my favourite lines in comedy was when uh, Jimmy Carr got done for his tax fraud, right? And he went on, I think it was, I think it was eight out of ten cats that he was on. It was one yeah. of the shows he was presenting. He went on and he just went, 
I know I've been uh, in trouble for my taxes and all that, but I could stand up here and talk about all the charity work that I've done. But I don't think lying would help. <laughs> 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 He's a cunt, isn't he? Yeah. He's what, a, a what a perfect way to fucking absolutely diffuse all the fucking shit that's stacked against you. Mate, as soon as you crack that joke, nobody give a fuck. Yeah, yeah it's just run away, didn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think Jason Manford had one where he was like getting some scandal or whatever it was. Um, and he was on in Newcastle the first the night after it broke. And he went, of all the fucking places to be, do you know what I mean? And then just laughed it off. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Just like that's the way you got to do it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course. But it depends on the fucking. I mean, I, I, that's not advice to Philip Schofield. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's full. <laughs> just crack a decent guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One singer, one singer. Uh, bang. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Schofield's doing a spiky way gig now. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have him at all. <laughs> One of, the, one of them resident host spots for 80 quid yeah. right, anyway, where, where he's doing the other gig yeah get in the fucking barrack <laughs> tavern <laughs> lad you're doing, you're doing his B gig he's supposed to be A1 yeah, you're yeah, almost yeah, yeah. to the B1 Schofield doing 10 minutes lads <laughs> I guess, I just, just have some jugs that'll go away oh, oh man I, 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 I put a clip on like cause I, I was fucking uh, I was talking about what he did with that fucking like covering up grooming a child by hiding behind the goodwill of the uh, LGBT community right yeah, like yeah, a, a community yeah. that he's fucking avoided for his entire fucking life yeah. by the way yeah. Yeah. That, that he would have been a great spokesperson for and a great ambassador for yeah. if like if, if he'd done it properly it, yeah if he'd done it properly yeah. right um, but he's just like oh quick I need to be on base you know yeah. like he's used them yeah. right and, uh, and I, I had like a bit of a rant like that in my fringe show but then I dropped it out my tour show because once he skipped the queue in the general mood of the room was that they hated Philip Schofield then it wasn't the same routine yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 and, yeah. and, uh, and I, I, I binned it. But then when he when he was getting a bunch of shit last week, I was just like, oh fuck! And I'll I'll go and clip that. I recorded my friend show. I'll clip that and I'll put it online. And I put it online and it popped. And then he fucking uh, it all come out about the uh, Matthew McGreevy thing. Yeah. And then he admitted it. But like twenty four hours after I put the clip out, now anybody that saw that clip thinks that I fucking made it happen. That I fucking <laughs> like I, yeah. I, I, I look at that and go, I timed that perfectly. I got a clip out just it's before the fucking news. news, news. Yeah. Yeah. But there's people tagging us in the news story going, go on, Kai, very honourable of you to fucking like, out this man. And <laughs> I'm, like, I'm getting tagged in so much uh, shit where yeah. people think that I've brought Dune Philip Schofield. Yeah. He <laughs> saved a kid's life, he'll bring down Schofield, <laughs> mate. He's a fucking he'll superhero, he'll he is. do Same. fucking whatever yeah. you want, lad. The next one you need. One you one keep one. him in uh, your tent pissing out, lad. Hey, can you find me mum for me? <laughs> 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 yeah, Danny. Danny oh, wants to do that. <laughs> boxing to find your mum. <laughs> boxing to find Tony's mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so oh, good. such a wordy title as well. <laughs> Boxing to find Tony's, Tony's mum. <laughs> <laughs> Snap it. Oh, I'll find your mum if you want. Like, I'll go out there, do God's yeah. work. Oh. Your dad's just sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> Miss your ass. Fuck off, dad. Oh, mate. So, it's all show mischief. Aye. You got a very mischievous little face. Aye, yeah. that's that's <laughs> the that's the that's the plan you now want because the the whole show is about like it, the first half of it anyway is about growing up on a council estate and causing mischief, getting up to trouble, you know, and you're like, you're committing crimes, but you're getting away with it. Yeah. But also, yeah. I just wanted to be like, you know, when you're talking about topics and you're like pushing the fucking boundaries with a couple of things, or you're like, yeah, you're, you're on the right side, but you're saying the wrong thing. You know, <laughs> yeah, and you're yeah, on the right yeah, side yeah, of the yeah, argument, yeah, yeah. but you're still like, what the fuck, you just said that. Yeah. And, and you can only get away with that if you get the tone of it right. Yeah, you know, and, and you've the, got the t- trust of the audience. The and trust stuff. of the audience, yeah. yeah. So I think like it, it's it, it's about that as well. It's about like a fucking, that, that's the, the style I wanted to go with for that show so it's about like like the actual mischief I got up to but also the tone of the show completely is, is that well, what, 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 are, what place are you doing with round the, round the country so I'm, I'm, at the tail, I'm at the tail end of it now and I've got uh, I've got Newcastle left yeah. and I've got Manchester left I'm at Liverpool tonight that's sold out yeah, but yeah. it's already done by yeah. the time they get it so I've got two left um but I'm actually thinking about putting more on. I'm f- uh, I've already been chatting about putting Birmingham and Dublin and a couple of other venues oh, on. An overflow gig in Liverpool. I've already been chatting to the crazy yeah. about that. So uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying well, this it. Is, this is out on the 5th, I think. So um, Yeah, the Manchester, you can fill up the Manchester yeah, yeah. gig. Yeah, I might come to that. I'm friendly. Yeah, please do, mate. Oh, no, I'm in Belfast. No, 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 cancel it. I might be back in time. Yeah, yeah make sure yeah. you support Kai okay, for his tickets, isn't it? Make yeah. sure you get them tickets. Yeah. Yeah. KaiHumphreys.com and your podcast with Daniel Sloss. Yes, yeah, Sloss, what's that Sloss and Humphreys on the road. It's a two-hour Sloss journal. We take the podcast with us everywhere we go. Boss so, down. like, it, uh, I would have been to some fucking way. I'd love that. I would just ring you and say, come jump in my bed. We'll do it here. 
<laughs> Should we do a special from your band? Yeah. With the pigeons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on I've the road, pig- I've got a pigeon problem, mate. It's bad. <laughs> what, you did think of the pigeons? No, they just, they just, ha- out, they just like a nest outside my window, <laughs> and they just keep making this noise. Like, they, like one of them's getting fucked. Wait, can I, can I do it? <laughs> like that? Yeah, but it's like. That's how. That's it, it, that's it. <laughs> that's it. It's. it's it's fucking Kyle oh, me oh, window, not pigeons. He's like a paranoid. Yeah, they split. And then pigeons fucking talking about me. Guys, just don't sign man every night. <laughs> oh, that'd be some fucking. It won't be boss though if we could just ring you and say like, come to mine. Like, you know, we'll just, we'll just do just do the podcast from there. I love that your idea of like, oh, you'd still be late. We've got a two-hour po- <laughs> we've got a two-hour podcast, and we we'll travel with it, and we're taking all around the world. You're like. Great idea. Now, Jamie, let's us do it. You travel to my house. <laughs> <with> it. <laughs> Set it up in my bed. <laughs> like, claim, in. Claiming like I'm your nan. <laughs> Dylan in the cupboard. <laughs> I'm gambling. Oh, oh mate. Um, nice. we, we need to wrap up because uh, we need the room for Ty's tour show. Yes. Take the roof off. Uh, that's gonna be um, me, thanks for coming down, mate. Um, thanks for all these. Thanks so, kindofficial.com. 18th of June, uh, Frog and Bucket. Uh, go and get a ticket, you little weasels. Um, my tour show at the Frog, uh, the last one, um, 24th of October. So sit tickets available for that. So please sell that out as well. As well as the second hot water date on the 19th of November, please. And our live show, which I forgot the date for. <laughs> <laughs> 20th of June, I think. Yes. Or whenever it is, we'll tweet about it. And uh, sign up to Patreon and all that lovely stuff. Anything else you want to add? Tony Callum and Friends, two weeks' time, uh, the 13th. Yeah, yeah fight, 13th. Fighting to find Tony's mum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fight to find Tony's mum. <laughs> if you're out there, remember, you could have had this. Mm-hmm. Not in that way. <laughs> Twice you left. <laughs> <laughs> you're five. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you later. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>